beast. Where are you? Hello everyone and welcome to the recent review. Today we're going to be taking a look at set number 71314, Storm Beast. The set contains approximately 109 pieces, was released in the spring to summer of 2016, and during time of release was approximately $15. Before I begin the review, let me get my disclaimer out of the way. Just because there are pros and cons in this video does not necessarily mean they're my personal opinions. I do my best to keep these videos as objective as possible, and as such, any and all comments are usually community opinions or objective facts about the set that I can represent here. So please, unless I explicitly state that it's my personal opinion, do not assume that it is. Alright? Awesome. Additionally, I'd like to give a special thanks to our moderator, Political Slime, for purchasing the sets for me, me paying for them, and then him sending them up to me as soon as possible. Greatly appreciate it. Really helped me out. Thanks. Let's get into the review. Start off with the recolors. We actually do have quite a few. Start off with the small stuff. We do have the headpiece, the headpiece we've had all along. We have that new in transparent lime green, and that's kind of cool. We also have a new mask recolor. We have Kopaka's Mask of Ice. And now it's still white, however it's also melded with the transparent lime green and a little bit of clear. Now it doesn't come with a stud piece, so you can't put anything in the eye socket. However, I'll go ahead and throw it up on screen. That's what Kopaka looks like with the mask. I'm not 100% sure about these claw pieces. They may be new in this color, however, I'm not 100% sure. I stupidly didn't do the research. And finally, the big recolor would be the size 4 armor shells. These are new in dark blue. Now, we've gotten dark blue shells before, however, they were the large pieces on Kopaka Uniter's lower arms. This time, we have three of these smaller, more versatile pieces, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are very happy about that. So that gets recolors out of the way, let's get into the new pieces, and we've got three. First of all, the new mask piece. I believe it's the Beast Mask, as it's called. We don't really have a whole lot of story information at this point in time. However, it comes in dark metro blue, along with the kind of transparent lime green. But it's darkened because of the melding. Additionally, we have the new jaw piece in gunmetal. Now, this actually doesn't really move, aside from the mask function. When you push it up, it'll pop the mask off, so it's actually rather static. Additionally, I believe, aside from the shadow trap pieces, it's the only gunmetal piece on him. And finally, we have this new shell piece. Now, this does not have any sort of connection point or anything. It's just one socket and this kind of rocky looking piece. These are also in a Kimu in this color. That about sums everything up. Let's get into the actual set. So appearance wise, the color scheme is kind of varied, but also really centered. It looks very tropical. A lot of bright greens, a lot of bright blues but also a lot of darker blues as well. And you can see on the torso, we do have this interesting looking print. It's very bright, very vibrant, kind of a almost Hawaiian shirt look. So he looks very tropical, which works because tropical storm, storm beast. So he's very vibrant. Uh, some things people do not like about this set would definitely be the open sockets on his arms. Upon first seeing pictures, people are quite adverse to that. Now in the actual set, it's really all that can be done with this specific design you have really the one elbow and then the one joint over at the shoulder, so there's not a whole lot you can do. There isn't really a handpiece that works for it. However, regardless, people are not happy about the open joints. We also have the red axles right next to that, as well as the blue pins, so it's kind of a double whammy, and people may not be happy about that, and some just may not mind, and that's fine. We have this new leg design, and people actually do like this leg design. We have a little additional stability in the back of the feet here, which some may not see as necessary, as the feet are already large enough to be stable. However, some may actually like the filling out. The legs are custom, except for the upper legs, and we do have the return of the red axles, so some may not like that because it does not really work with the color scheme. However, aside from those, the legs are actually rather simplistic, rather basic, and just standard CCBS. And I'm talking about the upper legs, not the lower ones, don't get me wrong. As far as functionality is concerned, we actually don't have a whole lot. We do not have the wave function, you know, the hips. Instead, we have very unique function. Like, there aren't a whole lot of functions, generally. However, the one that it does have is quite unique. Now, building this set, I did not know it had this. Go look over on the tail. 
pull that down, the arms will move up. However, that's not all. Wherever you move the tail, if you move it to the right, the left arm will come up. Move it to the left, the right arm will come up. And it doesn't really have a, a stopping point. It's really based on balance. However, it does balance quite well. And even if you have it in any given position, you can still move the arms down or up as you please because they're on a socket. A lot of people really like this. It's an ingenious design and something we actually have not, at least as far as I can think of right now, have not seen in Bionicle Gen 1 or Gen 2. So the build is actually a lot of fun. It's very creative, very innovative. However, due to that, some may not like some of the gaps that were introduced because of the necessary design. There are some gaps made because of these large black stick pieces, and there are even some gaps over around the neck area. Regarding his arms again real quick, a lot of people actually do not like the fact that A, they're attached to these sort of necks, which limits to a degree some poseability. Additionally, the armor piece being used, it doesn't cover a whole lot of the arm, and it kind of just lies there and sticks out and up, and looks somewhat awkward to a lot of people. There could have been more coverage, certainly, depending on the piece used. So it does give him kind of this awkward things are growing on him appearance, which to some would clash with the whole tropic storm motif. Back to his tail, he does have two points of articulation. There's one at the base here, and this is not counting the function. Additionally, there's one over here, which has the shadow trap, or at least shadow trap pieces. Now this is really handy because you can keep the mask trapped there as well and not have a loose piece just kind of floating around. Keeps it rather contained rather centralized to that one point. So overall, that actually about sums it up. That has been Storm Beast. Uh, everyone actually really seems to like this set. There's a lot of pros to him. He does have a really interesting color scheme. It's very bright, very vibrant. However, additionally, you will find the red pins and axles that are kind of breaking that up. Additionally, his arms are somewhat awkward. A lot of people find them to be somewhat bare bones and kind of mock-ish in a way. The open ball joints are very unprofessional looking and make the set look somewhat incomplete. However, most people have found that it's not the biggest deal in the world. So that has been Storm Beast. Our personal TTV recommendation is that, yeah, go ahead and buy him. He's actually a lot of fun. The function is really enjoyable. The build is quite a blast. And the recolored parts are phenomenal. They're really great. And if you pick them up, you're going to have a great time mocking with them. So that has been our review of Storm Beast. What do you think? Do you like him? Do you not like him as much? Feel free to let us know either in the comments below or over on the TTV message boards at board.ttvchannel.com. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.